you're not getting discouraged. You made a bit more progress that time. Oh, okay. The warrior dances with change, easily adjusting to its rhythm. Oh, okay. I'm just getting tired of trying to battle these things. I need to send back to shore to get me out to Much better than last time. It seems you're learning Valhalla's rules. I'm gonna use my axe. Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. <coughs> As we rowed by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean... There's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken on the surface. But I had to name it so boldly, uh, it took me a bit off guard. Sigrun, I 
am still waiting for the part where you spoke. In my defense, I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were deep as Rand's Hall and had been for as long as I'd known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. A sudden cold clarity that it was vanity to imagine that I, as I am, could be enough for her as she is. So I heard myself tell her that I didn't think I could give her what she needed. Now, I am mad at you. Pile on, brother. I deserve it. A little boost this time around, maybe. Sigrun, you could not give her what she needed. You spoke out of cowardice. Aye, obviously. But as prospects for terror go, can you imagine knowing all along you're not enough for someone, and then living out their slow realization of that truth? I admit it chilled me to the bone. You presume to know how she will feel in the future. Why discredit her wishes and yours in the present? I just can't pretend not to know better. She's romanticized the idea of us. Certainly I've done the same. But is that anything to build a future on? I mean, look at me, brother. Be practical. Hmm. If anyone else disparaged you as you disparaged yourself, I would wish to strike them with an axe.
Since there are more challengers like it to find, that is how we earn our way forward. God, that took me a while to do. to be open now.
<laughs> oh my gosh, man. Congratulations, Ulfric. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where's Mimir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time? Can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mimir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? What's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. <laughs> say, the decor is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Now this room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. <laughs> Kratos, you mean to sacrifice me again? Oh, 
awkward. You're making eye contact as you push me towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. We're going back to picking God of War 3, man. Jeez. kind of hard to say like you want to die and like time for another push <laughs> okay seriously Kratos get me out of this cage it's not funny anymore I can't believe you need to roast me on a whim on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head no more likely to be true than the next hmm? maybe consider that quickly going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solitary... Brother? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. What's that? No. No! Get me out of here! Brother! What is this? Help me! I'm trying! Do not panic. We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so. I think you've broken how Valhalla works. Oh, I think this is it, brother. No, you poor thing, look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigmund, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish, I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment.
as I will be forever in yours. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there. And do what you need to do. Shh. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. I already subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. <coughs>